A six-year-old boy writes a letter seeking love and attention from his busy mother, Sarah. Little does he know that this innocent gesture will lead to a heartwarming journey of miracles and rediscovered love. This heartwarming story follows the life of six-year-old Liam, a boy yearning for the love and attention of his busy mother, Sarah. Feeling neglected, he decides to write a letter to God, expressing his emotions and hopes for a change. What happens next is a touching journey that leads to unexpected surprises. Liam sat on the living room floor, surrounded by his toys as he watched his mother, Sarah, busy cooking in the kitchen. She seemed lost in her thoughts, and Liam wished he could pull her attention back to him. Mom! Liam called out, holding up one of his drawings. Look what I made for you! Sarah turned with a smile, but it didn't quite reach her eyes. That's wonderful, Liam, she said, ruffling his hair briefly before turning back to her cooking. Her tone was unenthusiastic. Liam's heart sank a little. He wanted her to sit down with him, to share stories, and play together like they used to. But lately, it seemed like she was always in a hurry, rushing from one thing to another. Later that evening, after dinner, Liam found himself in his room, feeling a mix of sadness and frustration. He looked around the walls littered with his drawings, pictures of him and his mom laughing together, and stuffed animals lined up on the bed. He'd started drawing more recently, but his mom never had time to look at any of his artwork. His eyes fell on a picture frame on his bedside table. It was a photograph of him and Sarah at the park, their smiles radiant as they shared a special moment. He missed those times and a longing to feel that connection again overwhelmed him. Feeling an urge to express his emotions, Liam grabbed a piece of paper and a crayon. He sat down at his small wooden desk and carefully started writing a heartfelt letter. Dear God, I miss my mommy. I wish she could spend more time with me. I want her to be happy, but I also want her to be with me like she used to be. I love my mommy so much, and I wish she would look at me like she used to. I want to play games with her and hear her laugh. Please God, can you help her find time for me? I promise that's all I'll ask for. I just miss her so much and want to play with her again. Please, I would be so happy. When I was little, we used to ride bikes and go to the park and get ice cream and go to the movies. We always did so many fun things. Could we maybe do at least one of those things again? Liam. As Liam finished his letter, he folded it carefully and sealed it in an envelope and held it close to his heart. Even just writing it had made him feel better. He placed the envelope in a special box where he kept his most treasured possessions. With a deep breath, he whispered, Please, God, help my mommy understand. The next morning, as the sun bathed the neighborhood, Liam eagerly waited by his front gate for the mailman. He knew Mr. Robert Lewis, the friendly mailman, would arrive soon to deliver letters and packages to their little community. Finally, Liam heard the soft jingle of the bell, and his eyes lit up with excitement. He rushed to greet Mr. Lewis, who always had a cheerful smile ready for him. Hi there, Liam. How are you doing today? Mr. Lewis asked, reaching into his mailbag. Liam hesitated for a moment, unsure if he should share his secret wish with the mailman. But looking into Mr. Lewis' kind eyes, he felt a surge of bravery. Mr. Lewis, do you know where God lives? Mr. Lewis was taken aback by the question. Finally, after a moment, he was able to answer Liam. Well, Liam, he replied gently. Some say God lives in the hearts of those who believe in him, and others say he resides in heaven. Liam's eyes widened in wonder. Do you think God can read letters? A warm smile crossed Mr. Lewis' face as he kneeled down to be at eye level with Liam. Absolutely, he said. God can hear our thoughts and prayers, even when we write them down. He knows what's in our hearts. Feeling comforted by Mr. Lewis' words, Liam reached into his pocket and pulled out the envelope containing his letter. I wrote a letter to God, he said, holding it out to the mailman. But I don't know where to send it. Do you have his address since you're the mailman? Mr. Lewis' heart melted at the sight of the innocent child, expressing his deepest feelings through a letter. He took the envelope gently and examined it as if it were the most important piece of mail he had ever seen. Well, Liam, Mr. Lewis said with a twinkle in his eye, I don't have his address memorized, but I do deliver to a special box for him. I'll make sure this gets to him, I promise. Liam's face lit up with joy and gratitude. Really? Thank you, Mr. Lewis. Mr. Lewis patted Liam's head affectionately. It's my pleasure, young man. Now, I better get going on my route. Your letter will be on its way to God soon. Liam waved goodbye to Mr. Lewis, feeling a sense of hope and excitement bubbling within him. He trusted that somehow his letter would find its way to God, and maybe his mom really would start paying attention to him again. As Mr. Lewis continued his route, he couldn't shake off the impact of Liam's innocent request. The idea of responding to the boy's letter as if it were from God tugged at his heartstrings. And as he sat down for his lunch break, he took out a piece of paper and began writing, 
crafting a loving and reassuring response to Liam's half-filled letter. Lewis, I've received your letter. I must say, your words touched my heart deeply. It warms my spirit to see a young soul like yours reaching out to me with such innocence and hope. Your faith and belief in my presence are truly humbling. I see the longing in your eyes, the yearning for your mother's love and attention. I want you to know that I hear your prayers, and I am always here, guiding and protecting you through life's journey. I understand that sometimes it may feel like your mother is busy, but she loves you more than words can express. In the moments when you feel alone, look up to the stars in the night sky. Know that each twinkle represents the love I have for you, shining brightly even when things seem dark. Remember that you are never truly alone, for my love surrounds you always. I have a special plan for you, Liam. You are destined for greatness, and your kind heart will touch many lives. Your mother will come to realize the treasure she has in you, and your bond will grow stronger as time passes. In the meantime, cherish the moments you have with your mother, even if they may seem brief. Every hug, every smile, and every shared laugh are precious gifts that will remain in your heart forever. And when you feel sad or lonely, remember that you can always talk to me. I am here to listen to your thoughts, hopes, and dreams. Pour out your heart to me, and I promise to hold your hand and guide you through life's ups and downs. As for your wish to spend more time with your mother, know that an angel will be watching over her, gently nudging her to cherish every moment with you. Sometimes, life gets busy, and we forget what truly matters, but with a little help, your mother will see the joy and love that you bring into her life. Keep shining bright, little one, for you are a beacon of love and hope in this world. Your letter has touched my heart, and I am forever grateful for the connection we share, with all my love and blessings. With tears in his eyes, Mr. Lewis carefully folded the letter and placed it in a matching envelope. He knew that this heartfelt response would mean the world to Liam. As he continued on his route, he couldn't help but smile, feeling blessed to have been part of such a beautiful moment of faith and love. He was beyond excited to deliver it to Liam the next morning. The next day, as the sun rose on a brand new morning, Mr. Lewis carefully tucked the response letter into his mailbag. He couldn't wait to deliver it to Liam and witness the joy on his face. With a sense of excitement and anticipation, he made his way to Liam's house, eager to share this heartwarming surprise. As he approached the front door, he saw Liam playing in the yard, his face beaming with happiness. Mr. Lewis smiled, knowing that the letter would only add to the boy's delight. He greeted Liam warmly and handed him the envelope. Good morning, Liam. I have something very special for you, Mr. Lewis said, his eyes twinkling. Liam's eyes lit up with curiosity as he took the envelope. He recognized the handwriting on it and felt a flutter of excitement in his chest. Is this from God? He asked, his voice filled with wonder. Mr. Lewis nodded. Yes, it is. I think you'll find it quite heartwarming. With eager hands, Liam tore open the envelope and carefully unfolded the letter inside. As he read the words, his smile grew wider and wider. His heart felt full, as if a warm embrace was wrapping around him. God had assured Liam that he was never truly alone and that there were angels all around, watching over him and guiding him through life's journey. He also assured him that his mother would give him attention again, and that sometimes life just gets busy. Liam's eyes glistened with tears of joy and gratitude as he finished reading the letter. He looked up at Mr. Lewis, his eyes shining with appreciation. Thank you so much for getting this letter to God, Liam said. It means the world to me. Mr. Lewis patted the young boy's shoulder gently. You're very welcome, Liam. Remember, you are a special and precious soul, and you are loved by many. He then turned and headed down the sidewalk with a wave. Liam raced inside of the house and up the stairs. He barreled into his room, flinging the door open in his wake. He removed one of his drawn pictures off of the wall and used the thumbtack for his new letter. After hanging it in the perfect position, he took a step back and admired it with a huge smile. Now all he had to do was wait for his mom to give him attention. One evening, as the sun began to set, Liam was taking a relaxing bath in the tub, surrounded by bubbles and his favorite rubber duckies. Sarah was catching up on laundry. She stepped into Liam's bedroom, glancing around the familiar space filled with toys and books. As she gathered his dirty clothes, her eyes fell on a piece of paper hung on the wall. She raised an eyebrow. She'd never seen this piece of paper before. Letting her curiosity get the better of her, she picked it up and saw that it was the letter Liam had received from God. Intrigued, Sarah settled onto the edge of Liam's bed and began to read the half words written by Mr. Lewis. The letter spoke of Liam's yearning for love and attention and the power of faith in bringing hope and healing. Sarah's heart tightened with a mix of emotions as she realized the impact her neglectful behavior had on her sweet son. Tears collected in her eyes as she thought about the times she had been preoccupied with work, 
household chores, and other distractions. She hadn't fully realized the depth of Liam's emotions and the love he desperately sought from her. Guilt gnawed at her heart as she recognized that she had unknowingly caused him pain. In that moment, Sarah felt a wave of remorse wash over her. She had to make things right for Liam, to show him how much she truly loved and cared for him. Her heart ached with the knowledge that she had been neglecting the one person who needed her love the most. She subconsciously made a promise to herself that she would try more. As the days went by, Sarah kept her promise. She made a conscious effort to be present, putting away her phone and work when she was with him. They spent time playing games, reading stories, and having heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Liam's face lit up with joy as he felt his mother's love and attention enveloping him like a warm embrace. One evening, as they sat together on the couch, Liam turned to his mother and smiled. Mom, I'm so glad you're spending time with me, he said, his eyes sparkling with happiness. Sarah held Liam close, feeling her heart swell with love. She expressed her happiness, telling him he was the most important person in her life and that she would always be there for him. Sarah then suggested a long vacation for just the three of them, including Liam's grandmother, which brought excitement and joy to Liam. He clapped his hands in delight, thrilled at the idea of a trip with both his mom and his gamma. Sarah's heart warmed at the thought of creating precious memories and embarking on an adventure together, exploring new places and making the most of their time as a family. And so, the three of them embarked on their long-awaited vacation, leaving behind the worries of the world and embracing the joy of togetherness. They traveled to beautiful destinations, laughed together, shared stories by the campfire, and basked in the warmth of each other's company. During their vacation, Sarah made a promise to herself and her son. She vowed to cherish every moment, to be present, and to make Liam feel loved and valued every single day. No longer burdened by distractions, Sarah embraced the joy of motherhood, knowing that the love they shared was the most precious gift she could give him. Their heartfelt letter had ignited a transformation in their lives, guiding them towards a deeper understanding of love, faith, and the enduring promise of family. And as they walked hand in hand into their future, Sarah knew that the love they had nurtured would carry them through life's challenges, creating a bond that was unbreakable, forever and always. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe, and this other story that may be appearing on the screen will most likely move you as well. Have a nice day and see you in the next video.